Hey, it's Take Care of Business Tuesday with my main here, John Batista, here with local realty agency Mid Cities, right here in Bedford, Texas. It's another beautiful day. Mortgage Boss 365 coming to you live. Shout out to the LD Bell Blue Raiders volleyball headed down to Cleveland, Texas this afternoon. Let's get it, guys. Uh, hey, really quickly, I just want to go over as far as when you're completing, when you're applying for a mortgage, what's important on mortgage application? Just kind of going through it with you. And the most important is make sure that you have a complete application, also known in the mortgage business as the 1003. Okay. So first of all, if you just would just follow me here, obviously you want to go ahead and put your first and last name. Make sure you match what's on your driver's license. Don't put your nickname or this or that. Just make sure you your ID matches up like you're going through the airport, okay? Uh, obviously, you're going to want to put your complete social, uh, your date of birth, U.S. citizenship, you know, whether you're married, separated, unmarried, whatever the situ whatever your situation may be, all right? And then also your number of dependents here as well. And then also make sure you got the correct, you know, contact information here also, okay? So just your cell phone number in most cases, you know, a good email address here as well. Your, you know, your current address, if you have an apartment number, go ahead and put it there. We want to know also too, do you own, you rent, uh, you don't, you don't have any housing expense, right? Cause we need to know you're going from paying nothing in rent to now having a 2000, maybe a $3,000 mortgage in today's market. Those are the type of things that we need to know up front to help you go ahead and get approved there as well. Okay. So now with your current address, two years address history here as well. So you've been in two different apartments. We're going to need both addresses, both leasing companies information. Uh, there as well so we can verify your rental history uh, also uh, then if you have a, a different mailing address let us know that here you know as well and the next step is going to be your employment okay now this is really really important right because you got to have a month all right so we want to know your employer's name you know your position there a good contact number and it's not just a number that's on google that you may see ask somebody that's in your hr what's a good number to verify my employment that's the number you want to put on your job application here as well also, obviously, the address, the date that you started, uh, how long you've been there, how long you've been in the business here as well. Um, are you a business owner? Are you self-employed? Uh, that's a difference in, uh, you know, that's a difference in application process. And now you want to go ahead and uh, supply, like I said, a two-year address history. Uh, then to go ahead and verify your income um, right here is that it's going to be basically your a month's worth of pay stub, your last two years W-2s. But we're going to go ahead and get all that income analyzed there for you, make sure that you have uh, the right income, uh, you know, set up. If you have a set salary, you don't get any bonuses, you don't get any overtime. Let's say my salary is sixty thousand dollars a year, my paycheck five thousand dollars a month. No matter what I do or how much I work, yeah, go ahead and put that in there. But otherwise, then you know, let us calculate the income for you because you can usually find maybe income you don't know that you had, and to help you get qualified for more home. All right, so two years of the employment history there, and then next is going to be your assets, right? Whether you have a four hundred one k, a savings account. A stock market, money market, maybe you have a CD that's ready to cash out that somebody put up for you a while ago, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, so that will go ahead and be your assets. Now, typically for an FHA loan, you need about three and a half percent down. But for the program that we have, there's no down payment required. But this should be able to show the assets to show reserves. You can have, you know, a couple months of uh, mortgage payments set aside. Uh, it's great for the application and getting it approved and getting it through underwriting. All right. And then next, we're going to look at your liabilities, okay? Now, your liabilities are going to be things like your car payments, your credit cards, um, you know, anything that, that you may have that's actually you know, on your credit report. So not like things like your cell phone bills, utility bills, you know, things of that nature. So it's key importance, you know, don't go ahead and buy the car before you buy the house, okay? That's key important there because this is going to calculate like your, your debt, your debt to income ratio. Really don't want that to be over, let's say, 50%. So let's just say, for instance, somebody makes a thousand dollars a month we don't really want them to have more than five hundred dollars worth of debt uh to their name as far as payments are concerned just to keep it simple like that uh, so if you're making ten thousand dollars a month but your bills are seven thousand dollars a month that makes you have a really high debt ratio we got to figure out how to get that down below five thousand dollars all right so that's how that's going to go ahead and be calculated uh, we need to know do you own any other properties because if you don't maybe you're eligible for the first time home buyer program if you haven't owned a home in the last three years uh, you are eligible for the first time home box program, including the zero money down payment requirement as well. Uh, then after that, it's just going to be some basic questions here. 
you know, as well. Uh, I'm just going to ask you, do you plan for it to be your primary residence? Um, have you owned the home in the last few years in another state or anything like that? Uh, so things of that nature, but those are pretty simplistic here. So we just wanted to go ahead and give you a high level overview today as far as completing the mortgage application. If you have any questions, please visit us at uh, www.mortgageboss365.com or follow us on Facebook or, or Instagram or anything like that. If you're looking for a home in the agent cities area, hey, look no further than local realty agency right here, guys. Thank you. See you next time.